In my last video, I got the new upper cabinets built and installed. And immediately after that, I cut out the shelves and put those in. And in this video, I'll be making the doors and getting those installed as well. These are gonna be frame and panel doors. The frame is solid wood, and I'm starting with rough lumber. Very much like I did in the previous videos in this series, I'm going through all the same steps again to mill it down to the sizes that I need. This cabinet build series is my next full tutorial on the Maker's Mob, and it certainly won't be my last. I've got a lot of interesting stuff coming up, and a number of those will end up on there as well in the kind of detail that you want if you're serious about woodworking. And you know what? It's not just me there. You'll have access to more than 50 projects that are already up on the site from world-class makers like John Peters, Neil Pask, Jimmy DeResta, the Samurai Carpenter, and Frank Howarth. So if you're interested in taking advantage of the value you're getting from that, there's a link in the description that will take you right there. The next step is to cut a groove into the styles. The styles are the vertical members of the frame and panel door. And I'm doing that on a table saw, cutting it in two passes. Over at the miter saw, I've set a stop so that I can cut the rails to the same length. And I'm trimming off the end square first before I do that. With that done, I can bring it back to the table saw and cut the grooves like I already did in the styles. I very carefully cut a sample to make sure that these cuts are good. And what I'm doing here is I'm forming the tenon on the ends of the rails that will fit into those grooves that I already cut in the styles. Next, I need to cut the panels through these doors, but first I need to put together one of the frames to get a measurement. And then I'm using half inch plywood for the panels and making the rough cuts with the handheld circular saw, my straight edge guide. And I can only get three panels out of the first piece, so I need to rip a strip off the edge of the larger one to get the fourth.
Now with all the parts made for the doors, I can get them put together. And I'm using polyurethane construction adhesive for that. And one big advantage of this type of door construction is that the panel is glued solidly into the frame and that adds a lot of strength. It's almost impossible to put these together without a slight mismatch on the end. So what I'm doing is I'm just trimming a very small amount off on my table saw using my panel cutting sled. To mount these on the cabinets, I'm using concealed hinges and they fit into a 35 millimeter hole, which is also one and three eighths. And that's the bit that I have here. And before I put those hinges in, I'm gonna sand the area so I won't have to take them out again. Last thing to do, of course, is to install them on the cabinets and check the fit. And one of the really nice things about these hinges is how adjustable they are. You can line everything up, and that's what you're seeing here with all four doors installed. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the project, and I'd like to remind you that if you're serious about woodworking, you can join my Maker's Mob and get a lot more detail on this project series. 